Hello guys, Fushet here, and very excited to announce, thanks to the Block 2.0 submissions, which I believe the deadline has already been, yeah it has, I was able to get a support a creator code. So, I have created the Fudge Death Run 1.0, so shall we play that? So, I can say this now, be sure to use code FUDGEHEAD in the item shop. I can say that now. How's my chair just one broken? No. My chair is so broken. <laughs> it's, it's so. Use code, use code FUDGEHEAD to buy me a new chair. <laughs> so this is only version 1.0. Because I might find bugs of it and stuff. <laughs> I was like, can I get over it? I can't even do my own death for you guys. Also, make sure to go walk through the middle of the checkpoint of the left. So where there's a wall that, where there's a wall that says. A number. Make sure to walk through the, on the middle of it, because that's where the checkpoints are, and I've got them hidden. So this, I'm not gonna like gap say how to do it. I'm just gonna use a video as like a kind of a tutorial. Now this map should give X once it's been calibrated. It should give XP every five minutes. I can't trap trigger. It should give XP every five minutes, and then you can claim some more XP when you finish it. Once it gets calibrated, but that will take a while. And I don't have to keep it so I might also have a skip button here. Oh, sorry. I might add a skip button on this level because I find it difficult. I made the map. So. I can't trap trigger for something. How am I failing on the first one? I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm thinking of adding a skip button on this level, but there's already a skip button over there. Kind of put two of the most annoying levels if you don't know how to do it together. So, yeah, I apologize. I wasn't even on the fucking trap! But the amount of testing I was doing to make sure everything works, it does, and this video will be proof, it does all work. It's just. But yeah, do you want? Some of them are a bit difficult. But yeah, the map is under calibration, so. May. need tweaking the player on the XP values, so I'm not sure if I set them right. But it looks like first time making it. I mean, I've made one death one before, that was when Creative first came out, and it was just a little private death one to torment my friends. So. I didn't even move off that. I might also make it that if you use a skip button, it will disable XP for that run. Just because I don't want to add skip buttons and then people not even try the levels. Just and and just like skip levels what they can. So I want to add a consequence. I might add a consequence. I might add a consequence for if you skip a level, you get this XP disabled. But I'm not sure. I also plan to make more creative maps now, so yeah. I just can't do this death run. I, I, I don't think I've set any spawn immunity, immunity either, so good luck! <laughs> yeah, the map code will be in the Description below. 
Let's go! I did the trap, but yeah. There's a skip button here. Because then this one, you have to... I'm not even sure how you do it. It's just like... There is also... Yeah, like that. I'm not sure how I did that. You you have to jump at the right angle, then you can walk through the window. Then you just walk through here. These don't kill you. I'm not sure why I need to fix that. Then just go f down here. Level 12, there's like 20 levels. You have to impulse up onto here to level 13. Double impulse, level 14. Have some Neos. We're also testing like the timer and the final XP reward because you can enable a test mode on the accolade devices. When I was testing them, I had mantling and redeploy on and I've turned those off for the actual final map. What to publish? Because I realised I literally just managed to skip an entire when I was literally messing about with it, I managed just to skip an entire level with glider redeploy and mantling. So they had to go off. Alright, so I can't do Neos. I just can't do them. Also, there's no checkpoints in between the Neos, so if you fail, you fail them all, but luckily I did it. Now we've got a little parkour room. A little trap here, be wary of that. I have to trigger that, then go to level 16. Level 16, you just have to jump. I recommend, I have auto sprint on. I'm not sure if that helps or is a disadvantage. So yeah, you can see the timer's back to one, one minute from like four. Obviously it's not granting XP at the moment, because it's not calibrated. Yeah, level 17, same again. These ones are a bit tougher. That one's that one that jump there is possibly I think the toughest in this room. There we go. If you can... if you're on keyboard and mouse, what I did I kind of on those platforms I kind of so I kind of. I'm not really sure how to describe it. So I jump with my W key to go forward, but then, when I'm, but then once I know I'm going to hit the platform, I press S. I just hold S a bit, just to make sure it doesn't fall. I don't jump over it. Now this is level 19, so what you want to do here is fail. That is a good start. So you, you, you have to jump on that wall. I've only done this once. You can still build. Oh, okay, so you can't destroy anything. Okay. That's good. I didn't realise about that. <laughs> Luckily you can't destroy nothing, so that's good. Alright, so... I think... You can't even, I've even disabled sprinting, so. Also, in the comments down below, the, the really old death, which was made when Creative first came out in Chapter 1 Season 7, should I publish that? There we go, I'm on the wall, so now from the wall you want to just jump onto this platform. Now the checkpoint's there, like the number, but the checkpoint's here, just be wary of that, the checkpoint is on this platform. Just because I needed the, the space. So you want to just grab the speed boost, walk back up, walk back to the checkpoint pretty much so you can get enough speed. Just to run through all the traps. And the checkpoint there. And then that's literally the only 20 levels. Yeah, death run complete, congratulations, you have completed the death run. Got some dance and peelies. Not sure why these aren't working. They should be. But yeah, the foundation is here. Well done, Leaper. Get yourself some XP. Just press that and it will give you your XP. 
let's just end game. Ah, okay, it's got a lot of I guess. But yeah, that is my first creative map that I published. There'll be more to come, don't worry. Make sure to use code FUDGEHEAD in the shop to buy me a new share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.